Connor, thank you for joining me. Let's quickly recap on Saturday. A tool draw away from home against an on-form maidenhead. A solid result, resilient performance and potentially a critical point for us in the run-up to the end of the season and those all-important second and third playoff places. Yeah, I think when you look at obviously the timing of the, the two goals and which gets us a draw, you have to say it's a point gained. Um, for those that were there and obviously when you look back at it and watch it back, we missed a lot of chances early on um, we had three golden opportunities before they, they scored their first. Obviously, the first is an error as well. Um, so we're frustrated in that. We should have we should have maybe been at least a goal up, if not two, before obviously their their chance even arises. But I thought the reaction was the reaction was positive in terms of in the second half the changes made a massive difference. That that's obviously a boost when you people like Idris, Pritch, and Cropsey coming on. You know it's going to add, add quality to what you've got. So the lads dug in. That's a, that's a key thing. Um, I'm not so sure last season that group would have got a point out of that game and in, in the circumstances being two goals down with 15 to play. So credit to where the lads, they kept going, they dug in and we know we've got a good group so that, that's why we obviously got a point for it. But it is a bit frustrating in terms of we should have been ahead like we feel anyway and then obviously it, it seems like a point gained obviously by the end. But it's, it's, it's a solid point, it's a hard place to go and many good teams have gone there and obviously come unstuck. So Dev's a, Dev's a great manager for the level, it shows obviously with what he's done the last few years and thought it was a good point on the day. As you say, three key substitutions and all made a huge impact on the game. Just how pleasing is it to have these lads available and how important is it for us to have such strength and depth in the squad at this point in the season? It's massive. Um, when you look back to last season within the playoffs, there was a lot of late goals um, and often substitutes can make changes and obviously bring the bring late goals and obviously create things late on. So we are, we are positive now with bodies back and we've got strength off the bench so the, you'll, you'll often see now in the last few games that some of the players that are either being rested or, or didn't make the starting uh, team for whatever reason you'll see the strength we have now within the bench so it gives us a massive chance to change the game off the bench which is a big positive for us as a management team As you say a lot of early chances in the game we go 2-0 two nil, two nil down but keep going a goal from a set piece from Callum Stead and a well taken penalty from Nicky Kabamba do you feel that was a fair result all things considered? Uh, Obviously, they feel obviously uh, aggrieved with obviously the referee's decision. Um, I watched it back. His hands up, whether it hits it or not, is a different story. But we, at the same time, there's stuff that went against us as well. So, listen, they, they'll feel they should have won the game. We feel our early onslaught should have should have got us at least a goal or two in front. And obviously, it might have been a different game. But I think so. Yeah, on the basis of that, a point probably was fair. But they feel obviously aggrieved. Conceding late never feels that way. We feel it's a massive point game, score, uh, scoring late, and they think it's points drop conceding late so that's always the way it's going to feel when it's in that context but I think across the game it was probably fair. On to Bromley tomorrow night they got knocked out of the FA Trophy semi-final by an informed Solihull at the weekend they'll be looking to bounce right back and all their focus now shifts back onto the league I'm sure. Yeah of course listen that when we lost down there a few weeks back in the quarterfinals of course it's a it's a disappointing day but they'll need to bounce back there and um, They've obviously, like ourselves, got their sights set on the top three and, and they'll see this as another chance to get points to, toward their tally, whatever their aim is. So we know it's going to be a tough game and obviously they'll be looking to bounce straight back, as you said, and we've got to keep our guard up. Just Often teams that lose can often have a rebound, uh, rebound off the back of a bad result and obviously try to come out with all guns blazing. It's second versus third. This really is a huge fixture. It's massive. Listen, there's, there's no hiding away from it. It's, it's the biggest game we've had so far this season. Um, I believe if we win, we guarantee top three with the permutation of obviously them two, Gateshead and Bromley having the play job on the last day. So the group are aware of that, listen, we're aware, but it's just another game we've got to prep for and we know it's a massive game. This is this this could be a playoff game come um two weeks time, three weeks time. So we've got to treat it as such and it's a big game and obviously there's no getting away from that. And as I said, pressure's a privilege at this point of the season and thankfully we're playing with pressure at the top end of the table and it's a massive game for us. We took all three points at Hayes Lane back in August, thanks to goals from Danny Collins and Nicky Kabamba. Just how much of a different challenge do Bromley now pose? Massively different. Um, isn't it the similar system, but they've got a lot of different personnel. Um, they've recruited really well, so uh, the team that we played early on, they were struggling a little bit at the time. And, um, our, our team hasn't changed overly much, and we, we both still play similar ways with different personnel. So it'll be different. Listen, it's a different game, different point of the season as well, different pressures it brings. And when you're playing early on in the season, no one really knows where they're sitting just yet. So now there's pressure on the game. We'll see who can obviously come out on top. Worthy of note, Saturday saw Nicky Kabamba's 50th goal for the club and the 100th appearance for both Jerome Akim, uh, Jerome Akimo and Harry Pritchard. Fantastic achievements for all three of the lads. Brilliant, listen, they've been excellent since they come in last summer. Um, to be fair to Nicky, he could have had his 51st, 52nd and 53rd if he had his shooting boots, but that's the way it goes for strikers. To be fair to him, he kept getting in the right position, he keeps getting chances and that's a, that's a good sign. And to be fair, the penalty obviously was a pressure penalty at the time, it was a big moment for our season and to be fair to him, it was an excellent penalty. So we're delighted with Nicky. 
Um, I say when he stops getting chances, that's when you got to be concerned. But he keeps doing the right things. I thought he was a handful all afternoon, and he's just a, he's a brilliant player to have with us. Obviously, we spoke about his new contract a few weeks back, and he's a brilliant player for us. The other two, again, excellent. You think when you see them coming in to play 100 games in such a short space of time, shows how reliable they are, how professional they are, and they've been excellent for us. Key players for us. You can see the difference when Pritch comes on the pitch. And the boost it gives the lads, and obviously it improves us in, in midfield. He makes brilliant runs, he makes contacts, makes tackles, and he always gets a chance. So, listen, we're happy with the lad. Skip's been a stalwart for us as well. He's been excellent. He's just ever present within our team, and he's a brilliant leader in a change room. So we're, we're so grateful to have the three lads, and they've been excellent for us. We always talk about the importance of our supporters getting behind the lads in their numbers. If ever there was a time to do it, tomorrow night really is the one. Yeah, definitely. Listen, we touched on it. It's a, it's a massive game, probably our biggest of the season. Uh, alongside obviously the Bromley away game a few weeks back in the trophy but this is this is way bigger than even that because at the start of the season the goal is obviously to be at the top end fighting for promotion and this is a big big game within that so I think it's the biggest game so far so we need them with us we need them a lot of voice we need them back in the lads and regardless of a one goal up one goal down whatever it is they've got to cheer us on because we can show we showed on Saturday we can't come back so with their support we'll obviously keep pushing. Connor thank you for your time. Cheers thank you.